hello what's up everyone welcome back to another video now today i'll be showing you how i made this delicious crispy juicy and tender fried chicken let's get started here i have some chicken already washed and clean i'll be using the leg the thighs and some wings and for my seasoning i have some black pepper some chicken bouillon some saison some seasoning salt paprika garlic powder chicken season and complete seasoning and here i have some green seasoning i will leave a link down below where you could find my green seasoning i always have this on hand i'm just going to go ahead and combine all the seasoning together and i'm just going to season with a generous amount and i'm going to leave um the remainder for the rest of my for the rest of the ingredients that i'll be using so i'm just going to go ahead and massage this and let it sit honestly i wanted to wait at least six hours but i totally changed my mind on what i was cooking so this went overnight so yes and the longer it marinate the better it gets so in my bowl i have some flour and some cornstarch and i'm going to go ahead and add the rest of my seasoning and i'm going to combine this very well then I'm going to go ahead and separate just a portion of that seasoned flour into a separate bowl and then I'm going to go ahead and add some beer. Of course you don't have to use the red stripe beer that I'm using. You could use any beer of choice, any beer that you have on hand. You, want, you don't want a sweet beer, you just want to make sure you just use any beer that you have on hand. And I'm going to go ahead and make this into a light batter. We want it to have a runny consistency. So we're going to give this a good mix until we achieve the desired um, thickness that we are looking for. And this is perfect for me. So now I'm going to go ahead and butter my chicken. So into that beer butter mixture, into my flour. And I'm going to keep doing this step until all my chicken is completed. And I'm going to allow it to sit and rest for about 15 to 20 minutes to allow the flour um, to um, soak up all that moisture while my oil is being preheated because if you put this in the oil just now your oil is going to get messy and all the flour is going to fall off so you just want to let it sit for a bit and you know absorb all that moisture and of course if you like this video don't go ahead and leave I'm not giving it a big thumbs up share it follow subscribe and always tell another person about this recipe if you enjoy it now my chicken is nice and ready to fry so my oil has been preheated to about 350 degrees and i'm going to go ahead and fry the smaller pieces first and these went for about 14 to 15 minutes now the chicken time depends on the size of your chicken so the smaller piece will cook up fairly quickly so you want to make sure that um you fry your chicken properly or just if you don't understand how to fry your chicken just make sure you have a thermometer and temperature of your chicken on the inside should be about 105 degrees okay i'm gonna go ahead and fry up the thicker pieces now that my chicken is done i'm gonna go ahead remove it from the oil and then i'm gonna show you how i make the most delicious dipping sauce to go with this chicken so to my saucepan i went ahead and add some butter i'm gonna allow this to melt and then after that i'm gonna go in with some honey and then i'm gonna go in with some sweet chili sauce then i'm gonna go in with some hot sauce we're gonna give this a mix and we're gonna allow this to come to a light simmer we don't want to boil this we just want to combine all the flavors together and that's just about it for the sauce i will leave a full written measurement for the sauce and the fried chicken down below so you could go ahead and check it out and there you have it the sauce is ready you could dump it all over your chicken or you could use it as a dipping sauce i went ahead and used mine as a dipping sauce now guys 
I thank you so so much for watching if you like this video don't forget to give it a thumbs up also share and I'll see you in my next one have a good day and bye bye